Hello my students. Today we will going to start the nutrition in animals how digestion take place in different compartments of the alimentary canal. As you know that we take food through the mouth digest and utilize it and the unused parts of the food are excreted out. Have you ever wondered what happens to the food inside the body? The food passes through a continuous canal that I have already told in yesterday's class that uh, the canal known as alimentary canal or digestive tract which begins at the buccal cavity and ends at the anus. And the canal can be divided into various compartments. First is buccal cavity or and mouth and next is the food pipe or esophagus third is the stomach fourth is the small intestine next is the large intestine ending in the rectum and then the anus these parts together form the alimentary canal and the food components gradually get digested as food travels through the various compartments and uh, also the secretory glands means uh, these are associated with the uh, alimentary canal. These are very helpful for digestion. Actually these digestive juices convert complex substances of the food into simpler ones. Later we will learn. Okay. Now first start from the uh, first. The mouth and buccal cavity. Here, first the food is taken into the body through the mouth, and the process of taking food into the body is called ingestion. And we chew the food with the teeth and break it down mechanically into small pieces. And the food which which is being chewed by our teeth that is mixed with the saliva which is secreted from the salivary glands. You can see the picture where salivary glands are located in our mouth. And that saliva mix with the food and moist the food and then breaks down the starch into the sugar. Let's come to the organs of mouth. There are mainly two organs which are present in our mouth. First is tongue which helps in mixing the food and also swallowing the food. And it having it is having uh, different taste buds you can see the picture uh, the front part of the tongue having taste buds that is responsible for taste of sweet then just uh, beside the sweet uh, in the both side of the tongue lateral portion these are for salty and sour and the posterior portion of the just tongue that is responsible for the taste of bitter and next comes to the teeth. As you know that uh, each tooth is rooted in the separate socket in the gums and we are having two jaws. There are different types of teeth and our teeth are vary in appearance and also they are having different function. Accordingly they are given different names. First is the incisors. Incisors are the front teeth. They are actually used for cutting and biting the food. In the both jaw, they are being found 4 plus 4, total 8 incisors teeth. Next comes to the canines. And you can also see the picture below of how these different types of teeth are located in our gums. Canines, this teeth is mainly responsible for piercing or tearing the food and total number of canines in our mouth in upper and lower jaw is 2 plus 2 is equal to 4. Next comes to premolars. Premolars are actually responsible for grinding and chewing or also for crushing the food. Crushing makes the food complex to simpler forms. And the total number of premolar teeth in our 
mouth is 4 plus 4 in both the jaw that is 8 and the molar teeth are actually mainly responsible for grinding the teeth that is present in the posterior portion of our gums in the inner portion these are total 6 plus 6 in both the jaw that is 12 so here the total numbers of teeth are 32 in an adult person next comes to tooth decay this is a actually gradual damage or slow damage of teeth as how it is occurs some bacteria present inside our mouth and left our food inside the mouth is broken down by this bacteria as a result an acid released which damage our teeth slowly by this way tooth decay occurs so there may be some preventive measures against tooth, tooth decay first is to clean your teeth twice a day and you should rinse your mouth after meal and avoid too much eating of sweet foods uh, like chocolates candy and other sweets also okay next comes to esophagus as you know the swallowed food passes into the food pipe or esophagus the food pipe runs along the neck and the chest and food is pushed down by the movement of the wall of the food pipe. Actually, this movement takes place throughout the elementary canal and pushes the food downwards. So, when at times the food is not accepted by our stomach, then it is vomited out. You can see the picture of the esophagus. Okay. Next comes to the stomach. Stomach is a thick walled bag and its shape is like a flattened U and it is the widest part of the elementary canal. It receives food from the food pipe at one end and opens into the small intestine in other end. The inner lining of the stomach secretes the following. First is mucus that protects the lining of the stomach against acid. Next is the hydrochloric acid HCl. Here HCl is the chemical formula of hydrochloric acid. That acid kills many bacteria that enter along the food and maintain the acidic medium. And acidic medium is very essential for digestive juices to act on the stomach. And next is the digestive juices that breaks down the protein into simpler substances. As I have already told that proteins are complex substances they can't be used in the direct form. That's why these are broken down into simpler substances by this digestive juice. Then it is for that process. In the next class I will discuss about small intestine and large intestine and uh, in detail and how uh, how the digestion takes place in some other animals including amoeba cow okay so i hope you understood it thank you